Every business owner should include getting publicity as a part of his or her overall marketing strategy. However, there is a lot more to garnering free publicity for your business than just writing and sending press releases. You want to build a long-term relationship with the media, and become known as a resource, an expert in your industry. That doesn't happen overnight, and it doesn't happen by accident. It takes time, careful planning and a strategy. The good news is that you don't have to spend tens of thousands of dollars, or hire an outside agency to do it for you. Here are the insider secrets that will help you to become a partner, and build a solid relationship with the media so that you can plan the elephant's walk for your business. 1. Do your research before writing your first press release. Think about your story. Who is it going to affect, interest or impact? Is it strictly of local interest, or can you hook it to a larger event or happening? Is it a one-time happening, such as your grand opening, or a special event, or milestone? Is it part of an ongoing effort? 2. Create your own hot list. Now, figure out which media sources are going to be most interested in your story. Start locally. Think of your local newspapers, television and radio stations. Include your local public radio station, college stations and any others that provide news stories in your list. 3. Make it personal. Now that you know which media sources you're going to send your press release to, get on the phone. Find out the name of a specific person you need to send the press release to. This is a step a lot of people skip over, but take my advice and don't, because it's one of the most important, remember the word relations in public relations. Building any worthwhile relationship takes time and effort. You have to give something to get something. If possible, talk to the reporter or editor personally. Introduce yourself, and let her slash him know that you're going to be sending him slash her a press release. 4. Once you've found your contact person, stick to them. Unless otherwise instructed, never send the same press release to more than one person in any organization or publication. If there is any confusion or duplicate coverage, it will be blamed on you, and you will lose your credibility. 5. Follow up. Within a day or two of sending your press release, call and make sure that they received it. If not, be calm, and pleasant, and just say that you'll send another one. Recheck your contact information, and make sure you've got the right address, fax number, etc. and then send it right away. 6. Never just send a press release the day of your event. It makes you look unprofessional, and you probably won't get covered. The only exception to this is if you're holding a press conference to make a big announcement that will impact many people. Always plan ahead and give the media as much time as possible to decide how they are going to cover it. 7. Know their deadlines. I can't stress this often enough. Every time you talk to a reporter, ask what their deadline is. When you're submitting an article or a press release to a magazine, call first and ask about submission deadlines. And then make sure that you send it in with time to spare. Mark the deadline on your media info sheet, or your Rolodex, but check back with them periodically, because changes do happen. 8. Keep your promises. If a reporter calls you, and you don't know the answer to a question, or he needs something you don't have but you promise to get it, do it. Always follow through and do what you say you're going to by their deadline. 9. Be professional. Offer to act as a liaison if the reporter needs to speak to other people in your organization or industry, and volunteer to provide additional research or background information. Put together an online press room on your website, as well as offline media kits that you can send along with your press releases, or when needed. 10. Remember what your mother taught you. Be polite. Say please and thank you. If you read an article that a reporter has written and you liked it, send a handwritten a note and let them know. Be willing to provide information, resources or background material even if it doesn't directly benefit you. Building a solid relationship is about more than selling more widgets, and will pay off in the long run. Thanks for watching the video, if you liked it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this.